Hi, in this lesson we'll learn about the raindrop sensor. Now perhaps you think it's a very simple sensor, because there are only two pins here and nothing looks special, but actually it's much more than that. The raindrop sensor can detect raindrop, as it says, or any water source that drop on it. As you can see, there are capacitive lines over here, and once the water touch it, it close the circuit between them and send on signal, or high. Now, this is not enough to just power it on by the microcontroller and make it work. For this, we will need an additional module. This is the raindrop controller that comes with the raindrop sensor, or as we call it, raindrop sensor analyzer. Now, when we want to use the raindrop sensor, we will need to connect the raindrop analyzer to the raindrop sensor, like this. Now, when it's connected, let's look at the raindrop analyzer to understand how it works. The raindrop analyzer have four pins on the other side. One is digital out, second one is analog out, then VCC and GND. The digital out and analog out used in very similar scenario. For example, the digital out will be used with this device. For example, the analog out will be used when we can just output analog. So the more capacitive over this sensor, the more the value will be higher. Now, the analog can be multiple values from 1 to 1000 or different, depends on the device we are using. But for this scenario, it can only be 1 or 0 because it's a digital value. So we can modify this value over here using a screwdriver in order to get different sensitivity. Later on, we will learn how to connect it to our microcontroller using either analog input, sorry, analog output or digital output and see how it works. Earlier, we discussed about the rain sensor. Now, let's understand how can be connected to our Arduino Uno device. Now, as we've said earlier, the rain sensor have two ways of output. One is analog output and the second one is digital output. Now, in order to demonstrate both ways, we are going to connect both ways into the Arduino device. Now, let's take a look over here. Here are the digital pins and here are the analog pins. We've connected our digital output into digital pin number 8. And then we've connected our analog output into digital into analog pin number 0. This way, when our device output information, we can receive it over here in the digital pin and over here in the analog pin. Here is the VCC and here is the GND. We are using 5 volt for VCC and we are using GND for GND. That way we can receive and close the circuit for the entire component. In the video we will demonstrate both analog and digital. Analog is more accurate, so we recommend it for the long term use. Let's get started. Now let's get into our Arduino IDE. First let's understand the code and then test the software and the hardware in real time. In the code we define both analog pin and digital pin. The analog is in A0 and the digital is pin number 8 as we discussed earlier. We, de we set the sensor analog value and the sensor digital value both as 0. In this setup we define the serial to begin with 9600 baud rate and the pin mode in sensor digital pin which is pin number 8 as input. Now in the loop which is the main software we will get the analog value and the digital value and we will print them both into the um, serial output which is right here the monitor and then we will delay wait one second and we will continue doing it in a loop forever basically we will get the sensor value print it wait one second and repeat the process all over again now let's take a look over here here we have the rain sensor and here we have a glass of water we can see the values when the rain sensor doesn't touch the water and the values when it will touch the water. Now, just so you can see, let's upload the, the code once again to the Arduino Uno. Now, once the code is inside, we can see the value right here. Now, as we put the sensor into the water, let's see how the value is changing. Just like this. You can see that the analog value is standing around 300 while the digital value is 0 which means 0 means basically it's raining and 1 means it's not raining and the analog value we can see how low it goes down when we pull it it goes back up 
800 and around 240. Great, we can see that the sensor functioned properly. We can use it to detect terrain and use it for soil moisture and other scenarios. Hi, so earlier on we explained about the rain sensor which is right here. As we've discussed, the rain sensor is right here and this one is the controller board for the rain sensor. Now if we look closely at the controller board, we have two outputs. One is digital output and one is analog output. Now as we know, the Raspberry Pi doesn't have analog output, which means we need to use ADC for it. For the ADC, which is right here, we use a module called PCF8591, right here, SunFounder PCF8591. Now let's see how it's all connected together. First, we have the rain sensor. The rain sensor connected to our controller. For the digital pin, it's not an issue. We can connect it directly over here to GPIO number 17. Now, what do we do about the analog? The analog, we must connect it over here to the PCF, which is right here. The black cable goes from the rain sensor, connects right here and goes to the PCF directly. From the PCF, we have two kind of pins. We have SDL and SCL. SDA and SCL. Those pins are designed for the I2C protocol. Now, as we can see, if we pick up our breadboard just a little, we can see that we control it using D5 volt and GND. And the pins for the PCF goes to SDA1 and SCL1. That way we can get the analog through I2C through the ADC converter. So just again, we use the rain sensor, which has both digital and output signals. We can get both of them, the analog using the ADC and the digital connected directly to the Raspberry Pi. Now let's move into our IDE to see how can we get all this to work together. Hi and welcome back. Now let's edit the code, the rain sensor code, to see what's going on inside in order to control our rain sensor device. Now inside the code we will see that we import the PCF8591 ADC as well as the RPI GPIO library. The digital output device we put as GPIO pin 17. Now the digital output is the digital output from the rain sensor. As we remember, we mentioned previously, there is both analog and digital output. Now in the setup, we set up the ADC on, on address number 48. This address is the I2C address determined by the actual sensor. This address should be default and shouldn't be changed. So once you have the sensor, this address is the one you will have automatically detected once you connect it to the IDC, I2C port. Now in the GPIO setup, we set up the digital output as GPIO in because this is an input device from the RAIN sensor to the Raspberry Pi. In the print command function, we will print if, the, if it's raining or not raining based on the data. Now inside the main loop, we run a while true command, get the ADC value and check if it's raining or not. If it's raining, we print the device information and then we wait for two milliseconds, sorry, 200 milliseconds in order to continue running the program over and over again because as we mentioned, as we mentioned previously, we use while true loop in this function. Now, if we go to the last part, which is the part that runs once we run the software, we can see that we first set up our connections and then we run loop. If keyboard interrupt, we will pass over it and just quit the software. Now let's check using the Python code if we can run the software and see what's going on. Now once we run the software, we can see the analog value going on. The RAIN sensor is right here. So as we can see, the value is 91 when it's on the open air. If we touch it, the value will change. Now. Let's see, now it says not raining. Let's put it inside the water and we can see that it changed to raining. Let me move my hands so we can see it better how I put it inside the water. Now, once again, put it in the water, raining, taking it out of the water, not raining. Now let's take a look closely. This is the rain sensor and the ADC is right there. Let's put it in again in the water, raining, and outside of the water, not raining. Great. So this is a great example how we can use the rain sensor. Now it's important to mention that in the software, raining and not raining is triggered by the digital 
output, while the numbers we see here are the analog output. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I'll see you next time.